Hey guys, today I'm checking out how roots of a plant look under this wonderful microscope right here. The unknown has always seemed to captivate me. In this case, the microscopic world, which can be seen with our bare eyes. To think about it, there hasn't been a single day where I haven't been drawn to uncovering something novel and going beyond my knowledge while escaping my comfort zone. Now that I'm done explaining my peculiar infatuation with microbiology, let's get started. Before we dive in, there are a few things to keep in mind. First and foremost, LS, TS, and CS are common abbreviations used in specimen slides. Longitudinal section is cut at the y-axis when the organism is vertical and the x-axis when the organism is horizontally placed. Transverse section and cross section are commonly known as transverse cross section. It is cut at the x-axis when vertically placed and y-axis when horizontally. Not to forget, most of the pre-made specimen slides have been stained in order to see the cells more vividly, as majority of the times the organism's original color is transparent. The first slide we're going to see is the longitudinal section of a root tip of an adult plant. Here I'm getting ready to stage. One at a time, I'm going through each of the magnification objective lenses and spinning the coarse focus knob making sure the slides are clearly seen. Here is the transfer section of a root tip of a young plant. Similar to before, I'm preparing the stage for observation. I'm gradually increasing the objective lenses one at a time. Fun fact! Roots only grow from their extreme tips. Another mind-blowing detail is that no matter what, a plant's root grows downwards due to the phenomenon known as positive gravitrophism, wherein the hormone auxin inhibits the cell growth of the lower cell layer, bending it downwards. I can't help but to think how remarkable our world really is. Not only does it open our eyes to the light that the world is quite paradoxical, simple yet complex, delicate yet robust but also how each and every organism has a significant part to play in the world's endless cycle of life. 